So this is Carolina horse nettle, sometimes just called horse nettle. Sometimes called wild tomato, you can see why. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, it, it, it's got a lot of other common names uh, in relation, sometimes devil's apple, a radical weed, sometimes just called bull nettle, uh, apple of Sodom, devil's tomato, all sorts of different kinds of names for this thing. It's in a Solanaceae family, so yes, in, in the family, not a nettle, but actually in the family with uh, things like tomatoes and so forth, the nightshade family. And as many light nightshades, that means that this is toxic. Uh, it's got all sorts of different kinds of chemicals in there, which uh, make both the fruit uh, to, to people, not to animals, but the fruit uh, poisonous, as well as the, uh, the leaves themselves. Um, it, it has a, the presence of something called uh, solanine glycoalkaloids, and that's what makes it ingesting the plant uh, dangerous. Uh, and it can even kill, kill you if you eat too much, especially if fruit is ingested. Um, it's spiny, that's how it protects itself along with the poison. Underneath the leaves, kind of hard to see here, but uh, it has spines underneath the leaves as well. It's a nice little identification feature. Uh, can't see the flowers here, of course, they're past bloom, but they're either white, sometimes lilac, slightly blue. Uh, look like tomato flowers with yellow centers. Uh, what rarely do you find this thing that's undamaged? Lots of things feed on it. I mean, the, the leaves almost always have holes in them from where beetles and that kind of stuff have fed very heavily on it. And even though we may think it's, it's actually poisonous, it's incredibly important. The main pollinator, like on tomatoes, is our bumblebees. Um, and uh, that, you know, it's got a good fruit set. Uh, but, even, um, but even lots of other things feed on it. So, for example, in Virginia alone, they've already done uh, studies on this, and there's at least 32 kinds of insects that feed on this. Uh, and not just the insects, there's also voles or all sorts of, all sorts of other things that feed on it, regardless of, of the beetles that also feed on it. So again, we may not like it, but it is a native. It's got its, its uses. Uh, it can be very weedy. It's actually considered not just weed in some states. Um, but the reality of it is that this particular plant does have, does serve a role. All sorts of insects from the hornworms to hit our own tomatoes to whatever. So as long as we don't eat them, who cares? Just enjoy the, uh, the horse nettles or let them be. But uh, they do provide wildlife value to so many other things. Horse nettles.